G'day guys, welcome back. Today I'm out here on Rancho. As you can see, we're in the dark right now because today I thought I'd try and look for a pronghorn over here on Rancho. I haven't got a diamond pronghorn before on either Silver Ridge Peaks or Rancho. So I figured may as well start out here and try to look for some of them. It is in the dark. They drink from 18 to 21. So hopefully we find some of them pretty soon. And starting off here, we got a couple Eastern Wild Turkey. I've never actually gotten a diamond one of them i haven't hunted them much at all but there was also a female pronghorn back there which makes me think that i've come a little bit early and they're not actually in their zones yet so i probably will fast travel back and come back in a minute i'll just make sure there's nothing else yeah i'm also gonna have to find have to buy more ammo because i forgot to get more for my 308 and obviously that's the gun we're going to be using to try and take out the pronghorn so i'm gonna just go back grab some ammo and regroup i guess so i've just come back and we do have a female pronghorn over there i don't know what to call a female pronghorn but I'll just call it a female pronghorn i guess don't know if it's a doe or what but i'm not seeing too many of them to be honest they're looking a little bit scarce at the moment hopefully i'll find some of them soon and there we go, I can see one in there, just a level 3 unfortunately, and another one, but at least it's a positive sign we're actually seeing them now. So I may get a little bit closer and try to take one of them out. And it does look like we have a load of jackrabbits over there. Ooh, 5 to 6, that seems like a very good score. Actually, maybe not compared to the other ones, but these might be my favourite rabbit species in the game. These guys look amazing. Definitely number one on my list for rabbits that I'd want to get and I'm gonna slowly make my way over and try to take some of them out or as many as I can actually so I'm starting to get close but we've got it we've got a couple pronghorn here on the way over but there's nothing special in this group at all they're all pretty tiny to be honest I really was expected to see a couple more nicer ones out here but the rabbits are just over there we just gotta get a little bit closer and that's actually a not bad pronghorn at all might definitely bigger than the others but I'd still rather take out the jackrabbits. I do think that big one has a chance at diamond. I don't actually know what the diamond requirement is, but it's the biggest score I've ever seen on a jackrabbit, so definitely worth taking out. So we've just about got close enough. Just going to make sure I'm seeing all of them because I want to get down as many as possible, but we'll definitely start with this big one. That'll take him down. And that's another male, so I'll take him down next. Jeez, they're absolutely everywhere. That seems to be all of them, but I've now spooked the pronghorn, but... Oh, there is actually a couple more. A couple more rabbits out the back there. There we go. And there we go. I think that's, what, five rabbits down, maybe six. That's definitely a good effort. And I'm just about to grab the rabbits. I thought that was one there. It's just a rock. And the first one was a gold at 5.86. I think this was the nicest one. I think, maybe? I can't remember what the weight was, but I think I think that fits the estimate of 5 to 6. Technically, I think it could have been the other one as well. But that does actually look really cool. I really, That's a really nice pose as well. And why the heck not? May as well just chuck him in the lodge because he's a gold and he looks pretty cool. Now it's time to find all the others. And the dog's going to help out with that. There's one. That's just a bronze at 2.88. And here's the next one. Gold at 5.49. So no diamonds coming out of here. Because that could have that could have been the That could have been the good one. It could have been either of them. Don't actually know, but obviously neither of them made it and accidentally just petted the dog, but I guess I say hey to him. And the next rabbits should not be far at all. Where are they? He's onto them. It's just the last two that we shot right at the end, I think. And that'd be their tracks, their dead bodies right there. There's the first one, just a silver at 3.61. Hit him actually in the foot. Pretty lucky shot. And the second, 3.7. Their ears are just so giant. They look really cool. Easily, easily the best rabbit species in the game. And there is another pronghorn, just level three. Made him flee when I shot down the rabbits and went to go claim him, but that'll absolutely drop him right in his tracks and we have another level two over there but i'm just gonna leave him and another level two the the pronghorn that i've found so far are just absolutely tiny but i guess that's all right we've got a couple nice rabbits 
And here's another pronghorn. Silver actually went straight into his neck, went all the way from the liver to the neck, which is pretty damn impressive. But I'm going to go right up to this top left leg now, and hopefully we'll find a couple little bigger pronghorn. So I just was tracking a, a bobcat for like... 35 minutes and it just turned out to be a mythical and I didn't even get him. He got away. So it's now collar peccary or javelina drink time. I do have a guaranteed diamond of one of these somewhere on my Parque Fernando map, but I haven't managed to find it. So I figured may as well come out here to park, uh, to Rancho and just look as well anyway. I mean, I'm in their time. I may as well. But so far, this is a giant herd of them. I mean giant. That's got to be what? 30 of them maybe not 30 20 so it's taken a very very long time to try and spot all these i can confirm there is no level five just running around in here so i guess this level three could do and we'll take him down we do have one up. oh he started fleeing we had another one over there but didn't quite get him so we'll just go grab level three so here's our little level three just gonna be a silver 86.37 Nice double lung shot though, so not complaining. And apparently, apparently I've hit something of it. What? We've got a very old vital organ hit from something somewhere. It's a pronghorn. When did I do this? Uh, well, that's a nice little gold. No recollection of when that happened, but guess I'm not complaining. Nice little gold. And once again, an absolutely giant herd of peccary. It's taken me a long time to try and search through these, but this level 4 is the best one, unfortunately. And yeah, I did. I thought I missed him for a second. He just didn't feel like reacting, but he did actually drop. And we've actually got some over here as well. I might as well just try and chuck a shot up there and see what happens. And we'll drop that one as well. Why not? And there is the first one that we took down. I think it's just a female. Yep, female brown fur type 41 silver not bad at all so now we'll just go grab the pretty nice level four and here it is nice gold at 115.42 double lung shot definitely a nice one best one of the day so far so now i've set it back to daytime and i've decided to come after some big horn i've just jumped into a multiplayer session so i figured why the heck not try and get some big horn That'll drop that guy right in his tracks. It's always so funny when you hunt the big horn and you double lung them and they just go absolutely flying. I feel like physics shouldn't work like that, but it's definitely pretty funny. And here is our nice little big horn. Should be a pretty high gold, I reckon. Yes, 155. It's about 10 points off diamond. Diamond's 166, so it's definitely a pretty good one. Hit him with a liver and lung shot. Definitely not bad. Good way to start out the day with big horn. And... There is another nice level 4, so I will try and take him out, he's very far away, but that was a long shot and he's starting to go down. After a long journey to get here, nice gold at 148.5, definitely not a bad one, not far off diamond, but couldn't quite get there. And now I've found another group of them and this seems to be the best one. So I'm just going to try and figure out which one to shoot. because. The, the estimates are a little bit misleading like one of them looks very big the one behind the one on the left but this one technically has the best estimate this one there we go that one does look the best but he doesn't have a very good estimate the other one has better and I don't know how and we actually did get both of them so not a bad result and here is our first big horn a gold at 136.15 actually looking at him now he's not as bad as I thought I thought the other one was much better than him didn't really understand how that guy had such a high estimate, but he's actually not that bad. So I've decided to jump back on to my server and I decided to look for some muleys. But as I change the time, there's a nice level 7 bobcat over there. So I may as well ping a shot at him. And that definitely looked to miss. That didn't hit him. So I'm going to have to reload and try again in a second here. Question is, will he even pop back out? Is that him? No, that's an alert level 5. There's the 7. That's what we're looking for. And that shot was good that time. That is taking him down quite quickly. Luckily, I already have a tent on the other side of this lake. I'm not even sure why, but I do have one here. So, why not use it and go grab him? And he should have died not too far away from here. 
actually a little bit further over in this direction. Can the dog pick him up? No. It should be over here. Just ahead. I thought that disturbed veg was him there, but no, not quite. Where is he at? I feel like he should be right here. There he is. He wasn't too far at all. And he's just level 7. Gonna be a gold, but obviously nowhere near diamond. Perfect right lung shot on that second attempt. That first shot was absolutely terrible, but second one definitely got it done. And we do have a muley over there. It's just a level 3, but we're about to lose their drink time, so I might take that guy out. And I might keep running around the lake and hopefully find maybe one or two more before we before we end the video. And somehow I spooked this guy. He's so far away, but he is the nicest one that I've seen so far today, so may as well chuck a shot into him. It's not going to be a vital hit, but should get non-vitals and should take him down pretty quickly. So here's our first of the two muleys. And he's just a silver 157. Very small, but that's about all I've seen on Parquet. Just absolutely tiny everything. Other than the jackrabbits, they've been doing me well. They looked... I mean, it was pretty close to diamond, those other two, but... Anyway, we'll grab the second one now. And it's been an extremely long track, but there he is, finally. 225, would have been a gold. It took him absolutely forever to go down, but... Definitely not a bad one. Hit him in the pelvis and the intestines, so... Did take him a while to go down, but we did manage to get him. And very fittingly, starting out the video, we had a 5-6 to six scoring antelope jackrabbit, and that's how we're going to end it as well. Don't know how I didn't hit that female, but we do have another jackrabbit for the last kill of this video. It is 5-6, to six, and with the way the Call of the Wild scoring goes, if it's up to over to 6, it can go all the way to 6.99, so technically could be a diamond, but... Not really. It's not going to really doubt it's going to make it, but we will pick him up. And once again, I really, really like these antelope jackrabbit. They might even be my favorite species on park, eh? They just look so cool. 5.36 gold. Definitely not a bad one at all. Quite a long ways to go before diamond, but that's a good way to end the video. If you guys did like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.